my bro Rush. What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? We're looking for the troops. Is it a river? Huh? Kill it, river. Tara, ikot tayo. Thousand years later. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Wait. Go here outside. Go here outside. Here outside. Huh? Jurassic. Wala na mato Jurassic, oi. Si sila kan. Aintit, sumakay sila doon. Sila mga bata lang. Madagascar. Mami, the mami. Yun yun sa na last nila. Grabe din ang pila. Haba. Gusto nang mag-ride sa mga extreme. Sila ni nakita pa. For the five minutes, though. And have continued to flow from it ever since. Now that you've got your eyes trained, your ears peeled, and your cameras ready, let's get started. We're now traveling into the very heart of our island city, so sit back and enjoy Singapore's fascinating story. The area to your right used to be the site of Riverside Village, a plague infested squatters colony which housed the sand. Prim, all prim, all prim. There is no time here, is it? Prim, all prim. Then, there is a place in this most dangerous area along a 6km promenade that flanks both sides of the river. As you take in the sights and sounds, you'll be comfortably shaded by the lush greenery and definitely be tempted by the many shops and cafes along the way. Look across the river and up to your left. See the lush green hill and the large tower overlooking Kaki and the river? That is Port Canning Hill, where Raffles built his own bungalow, Singapore's first government house. He also planted a spice garden, Singapore's first experimental botanic garden, to cultivate commercially imported spices. The hill was later used by the British as an arms store, barracks, and hospital, which probably led to its final name, Fort Canning. But way before the British arrived at our shores, Fort was a visitor to see the old British underground campus, and a cool green garden, and a rich green stone, still made on shady slopes. Now here's a building that just begs our attention. See the one adorned with colorful windows on your left? Home to the Ministry of Information and Communications and Arts, <laughs> named the National Monument in 1998. the the of nation's rise to prosperity. Wonder why all the shop houses are concentrated on just one embankment of Oak Key? The bowl of Teochew College cost only 10 cents. Now, the side dishes like tree of chai. Every day, the people who walk from the river will eat at these fish carts. Oh my god. 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 Okay, bello ta. Bello ta. Bello ta. Hi. 
Oh, picture, picture kayak itu. Push, push, Measuring 8.6 meters high, the number one of the most tons. The Malayan sits on vibrating glass, looking out to sea. She has millions of visitors. Lion. Yan mo makikita ang Marina Bay Hey ladies, you wanna come on here? Sam, you wanna take me places? Bumboats are also referred to by the Chinese as Tuakos These boats proudly originated in Singapore with hulls developed by the local Chinese In a massive cleanup of our waterways in the early 80s However, they made a triumphant return to the Singapore River and were given a new lease of life as pleasure craft by Singapore River Cruises. The Victoria Theatre and Victoria Memorial Hall, which features the clock tower, are both historical monuments dedicated to the performance arts. Right next to them is the Empress Way, beautifully cast bronze. There are many other surprising sculptures that dot the Singapore River promenade, and if you decide to take an exploratory walk, we promise you won't be disappointed. Trading post and free port on the island for England's East India Company. He developed a town plan, drawing up residential and administrative and commercial districts along the banks of this budding island city. The large building we're passing on the right was Singapore's first courthouse, after which it became Parliament House until 1999, when the new Parliament House was developed just next to it. <gasps> what is that strange disc hovering over Parliament House? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it a UFO? Don't worry, what looks like something out of a sci-fi movie is actually part of the Supreme Court of Singapore. Appointed the first superintendent of public works in Singapore, Coleman brought with him an architectural style known as Palladium, a combination of Greek and Roman styles adapted for our tropical climate. And there you have it. We finally come full circle, traveling from the friends and family of Yeah, you're my boat.